Are those same people that have stuff to say about you, are they putting money in your pockets? Bounce, west side, make a pass right now. Right now. North side, make a pass right now. What is good, everyone? Welcome back. It's your girl, Azuka Beauty. You know it's your girl. In this video right here, I'm gonna be giving y'all a life update. Yes, there's been a lot going on. And I feel like the end of the year is the best time to give a life update because you've gone through the whole year, okay? And this is a conclusionary action. You know what I mean? So y'all already know, if you think the melanin is popping y'all know what to do you gotta keep on watching let's get to it first of all i got my antlers on the antlers are on because tis the season okay so where do i start if y'all didn't know 2020 was a very transformative year for me i moved out my parents place and marked a year on august 26th i think I've been in this apartment now for a year and a couple months, and I tell y'all, your girl has learned plenty. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, growing pains. You know what I mean? Um, like we always say, it's very transitional when you do live with someone else that isn't family. I feel like we put up with a lot more things when it comes to our family rather than an individual that is outside of your family. So definitely had to transition. Overall, I would say the process is definitely a process that we all need to go through in life. And I would never change anything that I've done um, because I've grown a ton in this space. There was a lot of things that were happening at the beginning. If you look at all my previous um, life updates, I will have them linked up above, but there was definitely a lot of things that I had to, you know, get used to into the rhythm of um, definitely at the beginning, had problems with neighbors, still have problems with another neighbor. So all that to say, make sure y'all ask very in-depth questions when you are looking for an apartment. Definitely ask those questions like, how are the neighbors? How are the people upstairs? Like, um, is this a place where it's very child-friendly or is this more like um, single households with no kids or like single people? Make sure y'all ask those questions, okay? It did take us a while to get everything furnished and I love everything how it is. It's been fully furnished, I'd say for the past, let me say like four or five months. We did take our time because you don't wanna do anything drastic. And at the end of the day, this is not our forever place. So you don't wanna, you know, do too much. You know what I mean? So the goal is before I do move out of this place, I'll definitely give y'all an apartment tour. And yeah, so I will provide that to you all. Other than that, y'all, independence. Can we say one thing for independence? Independence is key. I advise any single woman. I grew up in a Nigerian household, so I know, okay, I know how hard it is for us single datas to move out and do our own thing. It is hard. Sometimes I think, how did I, how did I make it out of my parents' house? It was very challenging. There was a lot of wahala that went into me getting into this place. We thank God. <laughs> Nigerian daughters, I feel your pain. Yeah, so we're out here living life, okay? In our apartment, living the life that we want to. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but you know, it's something that had to be done and I don't regret it at all. So, that's update number one. Update number two, okay? Well, if you see my uh, live vlog, you see that was my roommate's birthday and it was a good time, all that, great. But, <laughs> shortly after that, we both got the Rona. We both got the Rona and yeah. Then honestly, from the end of July to like October, 
I felt the effects. No cap, like, we thank God that we're healthy and we move and all of that, but y'all, post-rona is real. Like, honestly, to be honest, I didn't stop feeling the effects of getting rona until late September, October. Couldn't work out the way I, I wanted to. Felt like I was gonna pass out every time. I did try to work out the way I wanted, which accompanied weight gain. We love that. We love that for me, right? Um, yeah, so with that, weight came. Hey, hey, okay. Second, I couldn't taste. <laughs> I couldn't taste or smell mostly taste for like a good month. That was the most annoying thing because at the end of the day, um, if y'all seen my Texas vlog, I did go to Texas and still by that time, I couldn't 100% taste the food that I was eating and that pissed me off. I don't think there's any other way to put it. The Rona hit, hit me hard. I was out for a couple months, like about two months. Seems like there's a variant every two months or every month. So y'all just be careful. I could tell you to do A, B, C, D, or E, F, G because I know people that, you know, took all the proper precautions, did everything like they were supposed to, and they still got it. So all that to say, pray, okay? <laughs> take your vitamins, take your vitamin D, in general, live a healthy lifestyle, eat healthy, exercise regularly, and drink your water, and pray. <laughs> That's all we can do at this point, so yeah. Another update, you all, is that, you know, you gotta focus on yourself. I took time to really focus on what I wanted to accomplish because at that time fall came and then, you know, now we're in the winter season, which I love. But um, yeah, I just took time for myself. You know, I got a man's now, so mm, that situation as well. But you know, just taking time for you and you know, reaching your goals finding out what your aspirations are, transitioning in life. I am turning 28 on the 28th, so that means I only have two more years of my 20s left. So, with that being said, age really is not an issue for me. I don't look at age as something that is negative. There was a point where I was, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be 30, like blah, blah, blah. But honeys, look, if you take good care of yourself and you know, you're doing that thing you should not be worried about getting older like trust me i'm just happy to be alive <laughs> happy to be alive thriving like there's nothing in my life i can say that is like really just drastically just tearing me down anything goes at this point like there's gonna be things that are gonna happen and you just gotta learn how to pivot life is all about pivoting finding out like what works for you and what you can do and shit's gonna happen, okay? Things are gonna happen. It's all about how you respond to it and it's took me a while to learn that within myself. So I'm a pivot. If something don't go my way, I'm a pivot. If something happens, I'm a pivot. That's literally all you can do is just pivot your way through life and really be comfortable with who you are. like. It's an everyday struggle, you know, especially as women. We go on Instagram, we see this person looking like this, we see this person doing this, this person looking like this. There's such a high standard that women put ourselves to when it comes to especially body image and all that. But I've really just been like, this is it. Like, I'm about to be 28. Um, this is real, this is me, this is who and exactly where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I cannot be bothered. I cannot be bothered these days, you know? Like I need to make sure that life doesn't chop me before I chop it, okay? So it is what it is. You know, we just gotta keep on being fine babes that we are, living life, okay, to the fullest, learning how to pivot, 
and don't let life drag you down okay because at the end of the day like i always say are those same people that have stuff to say about you are they putting money in your pockets if they're not putting money in your pockets say bye bro. leave them leave let them go okay because life is about living <laughs> i need to stop yeah like i'm look honey if i'm gonna do something i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna do it now if i want to wear something i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna wear it now like if i want to do anything i'm just gonna do it and i don't care i will not care before i used to be like oh what is this person gonna say what is that person gonna say what is this person gonna say i do not care waka if you have something to say <laughs> if you have something to say that is negative it's your problem you have problems within yourself don't try to put your problems on me keep your problems to yourself and that's just how it is these days okay i know that's right <laughs> all that to say y'all live your life okay live that life especially now y'all since we're still going through a pandemic We've lost people, plenty, plenty of people. You should be happy. You should be happy that you're alive. You should be happy that you're able to be watching me through the screen. You should be happy to be able to even wake up in the morning. So, live your life. Live it, okay? That is all. That is all. <laughs> period with that being said y'all thank you so much for making it to the end of this video hopefully y'all was able to give y'all a little update y'all can kind of see you know what's been going on throughout the duration that i was gone i did put out several vlogs that showed y'all kind of how things were going you know so make sure y'all check that out i'll have them up above here or here here or here <laughs> like this video okay like it you know if you liked it why not help your girl out don't be scared okay to comment down below i always respond so make sure y'all comment okay comment down there make sure y'all tap or click the subscribe button down below you know it's free and you're helping your girl out and why not join the family okay why not you know you want to come on come join <laughs> And remember y'all, you are blessed, okay? You, yes you, you are blessed and you are highly favored, okay? And I will see you in my next video. Peace.